Imagine standing on Earth 300 million years ago. The air is thick, warm, and filled with the scent of strange forests. Giant ferns and towering horsetails stretch toward a hazy sky. There are no birds, no flowers, and definitely no dinosaurs. But the planet is very much alive and ruled by creatures far more alien than anything you've ever seen. Before dinosaurs ever took their first step, the Earth had already lived through ages of chaos, creation, and extinction. And the rulers of this ancient world, the ones who came before the dinosaurs, were among the most terrifying and fascinating creatures that ever existed. Let's go back in time, to the forgotten world before the age of dinosaurs. The primeval Earth hundreds of millions of years ago, the continents weren't scattered as they are today. They were fused together into one massive supercontinent called Pangaea, surrounded by a single global ocean, Panthalassa. The world was different alien, unpredictable, and violent. The Carboniferous period, around 360 to 300 million years ago, was a time of lush green forests and high oxygen levels. Insects the size of eagles buzzed through the air. Millipedes as long as cars crawled across the forest floor. Amphibians dominated the swamps, and for the first time, creatures began to conquer the land, paving the way for reptiles. But this paradise would not last. As the continents collided to form Pangaea, climates changed. The once humid forests began to dry. Vast deserts spread across the center of the supercontinent. And in these harsh conditions, life had to evolve or die. This was the dawn of the Permian period, beginning around 299 million years ago, a time that would produce some of the most incredible creatures ever to walk the Earth. The first rulers, reptiles, take over. In this new dry world, amphibians struggled. Their skin couldn't hold moisture, and their eggs needed water to survive. But a new kind of creature appeared, one that didn't depend on water anymore. They were the amniotes, the ancestors of reptiles, mammals, and birds. Their eggs had tough shells, allowing them to lay them on land. This single evolutionary leap changed everything. It gave rise to a new generation of land rulers. Among them was one of the most iconic prehistoric predators ever discovered, Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon the sail-backed hunter. Dimetrodon wasn't a dinosaur. It lived 50 million years before the first dinosaurs ever appeared. About 4 meters long, it had a large sail-like structure on its back, formed by elongated spines. This sail helped regulate body temperature like a biological solar panel, absorbing heat during the day and releasing it at night. Dimetrodon was a master predator with sharp curved teeth designed for tearing flesh. It was one of the first true apex predators in Earth's history. Yet, surprisingly, Dimetrodon was more closely related to mammals than to reptiles or dinosaurs. In other words, this terrifying creature is part of our distant evolutionary family tree. As Dimetrodon ruled the warm floodplains, other strange beasts thrived alongside it herbivores like Edaphosaurus, with sails of their own, but used for gathering sunlight rather than hunting. For tens of millions of years, these early synapsids, the ancestors of mammals, dominated the land. But evolution never stands still. New predators were rising, and the Earth was changing once again. The Age of Monsters, the Permian Apex Predators. As the Permian period marched on, the planet became more extreme. Deserts expanded, rain became rare. Survival meant adaptation, and nature began to craft creatures of terrifying efficiency. Among the deadliest were the Gorgonopsids named after the Gorgons of Greek myth, monsters so terrible they could turn men to stone. Gorgonopsids were the top predators of their time. They had long, muscular bodies, powerful jaws, and saber-like teeth. Some species grew up to three meters long, hunting anything that moved. They were fast, agile, and deadly the perfect killing machines of the Permian world. In the frozen north of what is now Russia, an even larger predator reigned, in Ostrancevia. Reaching nearly five meters in length, with fangs up to 15 centimeters long, it was one of the most formidable carnivores in Earth's history. Its bite could crush through bone, and nothing on land could challenge it. These animals ruled a brutal world, a world of endless struggle and relentless evolution. But their reign was about to end in the most catastrophic event the planet had ever seen. The great dying, the end of nearly everything. Around 250 to million years ago, Earth faced the deadliest mass extinction in its history. Scientists call it the Permian Triassic Extinction Event, or simply, the Great Dying. It wiped out over 90% of all species, both in the oceans and on land. The cause? A chain reaction of disasters. Massive volcanic eruptions in what is now Siberia released unimaginable amounts of carbon dioxide and methane. 
the skies darkened with ash. Acid rain poisoned the seas. The oceans turned anoxic suffocating marine life. Temperatures soared to levels no animal could withstand. Entire ecosystems collapsed. Forests died, the air turned toxic, and rivers dried up. Even the mighty Gorgonopsids and Dimetrodons could not survive. For the first time in hundreds of millions of years, the Earth fell silent. It took five million years for the planet to begin recovering an eternity in human terms, but just a heartbeat in geological time. When life finally returned, it was forever changed. After the darkness, the rise of the dinosaurs. Out of the ashes of the Permian came a new world, the Triassic period. The survivors of the extinction were few, but they were tough, adaptable, and ready to evolve into new forms. Among them were the archosaurs, a group that would eventually give rise to crocodiles, pterosaurs, and of course, dinosaurs. The early Triassic world was still harsh, hot, dry, and unstable, but evolution was running wild. Strange reptilian creatures roamed the land, like Postasuchus, a crocodile-like predator that walked onto legs. Early mammals, descendants of those Permian synapsids, scurried in the shadows, tiny and fragile. And then, around 230 million years ago, something extraordinary happened. From a small branch of the archosaurs, a new kind of animal appeared. It walked upright, its legs directly beneath its body. It was fast, efficient, and unlike anything before it. These were the first dinosaurs. They were small at first about the size of chickens or dogs, but they were survivors. They thrived in the Triassic chaos, evolving into dozens of species. And when another mass extinction hit at the end of the Triassic, wiping out many competitors, dinosaurs seized their moment. They rose to dominate the Earth for the next 165 million years. Legacy of the Forgotten World Before the age of dinosaurs, Earth was already ancient shaped by cycles of life and death, of creation and destruction. The creatures of the Carboniferous and Permian paved the way for everything that came after. Without Dimetrodon, without the Gorgonopsids, without those early reptiles that dared to leave the water, dinosaurs might never have existed and neither would we. Every step in evolution builds upon what came before. Every extinction clears the stage for something new. The story of life on Earth is not a straight line, but a series of rises and falls each one setting the stage for the next. The world before dinosaurs was strange, terrifying, and beautiful. It was a time when nature experimented wildly creating creatures that defied imagination. And though they are gone, their legacy lives on in every mammal, bird, and reptile alive today. Closing so next time you think of the age of dinosaurs remember, they weren't the beginning they were the continuation of a story that started long before them. A story of resilience, survival, and transformation. Because before the dinosaurs ruled the earth, there were other kings, and their reign though forgotten shaped the world we live in today.